What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your rule, of course, is the scavenger. And uh, yeah, before we go into this battle, I just want to thank you guys for commenting and liking my previous video about the stale meta game. I know I could have elaborated more than just defining OU when it comes to the stale meta game. Sadly, the video got too long, so I didn't. I mean, the competitive plays in uh, and the stale plays is it can be applied to all the tiers. It just OU is the simplest to define I decided to use that as my example I could definitely have reached out more um, like I said the video got too long and I basically just wanted to end it uh, so I left to elaborate some other time so um, yeah it happened guys it will happen so anyway my opponent here the supreme toad lord one of the best names ever uh, he actually commented on my previous videos about that he's using original sets or trying out a few things on his own so um, yeah, it was very, very interesting about this guy. And um, looking at his team, we got Kekleon, Kingler, Unpheasant, nice, Corpus, Nidorina, and Nidorino. And um, yeah, overwhelming weakness to, uh, well, Electric, Grass, and uh, Earthquakes, of course, or Ground. So um, that is definitely like a wide open his team. But then again, you got a good synergy to kind of wall that properly. Definitely missing a Ground type, maybe. But that's about it. I think other than that, he could kind of work itself out. I myself am using quite original sets to myself here with Ramperdoss, Drifflim, Sandslash, Dedane, Zimisage, and Simisir. And yeah, like I said, I would really try these elemental monkeys and try to work around them and see if they can work properly. I'm quite happy with them. They're definitely fragile, but man, they hit hard. So, anyway, I have no idea what to do with, I'm just gonna straight on at it, so with all this in mind, let's go! So anyway, due to me not really having a good idea what he will start off with, I'm just gonna go for Rampardoss, and um, I actually decided I'm just gonna go with sheer force boosted moves. I decided to not take Zen Headbutt, and I really felt that, my god, why? Why did I do that? Why did I decide not to have Zen Headbutt? Poison type is quite common and you aren't it. So, yeah, joke's on me, obviously. And um, I have no way of two-shotting this thing. He's gonna go for Super Fang, which truly hurts. And I'm gonna just run the crunch, finish it off, which means it doesn't get another layer of spikes, which is great. But, Poison Point, wow. Just wow. I mean, I know it's 30%, yeah, but that is rough. So anyway, he's gonna go to his Corpish here. And um, to complete, be completely honest, my Ramper Dots is not really that viable this battle, so I'm just gonna fodder it off. I really just wanted a safe switch into my DNA, and I really didn't want to risk it to go actually switching out and feeling that this Pokemon could go for its wall stands and whatnot. So, yeah, since it doesn't have a grand type, I am freely uh, able to go for a Volt Switch, and it's gonna go to Nidorino. Nidorino is definitely, due to this damage, I know there is no evil life in this Pokemon. That is a good thing. That means that we can work around this. That means that my Earthquake on my Sashlet can take it out. But at the same time... We have one big issue. And that issue is that he still got the Unpheasant. Which means that I felt that he's probably gonna switch out. Um, expecting a Rapid Spin or anything like that. But he's gonna just go for Poison Jab, which doesn't do that much this time. And um, Stealth Rock basically means that his Unpheasant can't, he can't come in, yes, but he can't work around it too much or he will die due to Stealth Rock's entry. So after this, I'll just decide to go for Rapid Spin. I am, like I said, completely able to wall this into Reno rather well. But he's gonna go for Home Claw. And um, yeah, I say become a bit scary because of that, because Home Claw in combination with Hustle. It's kind of dangerous, it really is. I don't know if this thing is complete moveset, but yeah, we got we got issues. Like, I really need to take this thing out and, um, well, basically, due to him only having poison and jab, basically means that I am able, of course, to take that and, um, yeah, just go for a quick. And I was really glad I was able to take it out. I did expect that, to be honest. Not because of Sandslash being overly powerful and things like that, you just need to redo it's quite fragile. And looking at the previous damage I did with and stabbed Lightning or Volt Switch, it did almost 50%, so I knew that Sandslash was in that ball area. 
So anyway, he can't bring in the Kingler. And I wasn't sure if I'm gonna be able to outspeed. I am actually able to outspeed. And I'm gonna knock off a freaking Zamprock, guys. Kingler is gonna make it rain. That is awesome. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. Um, Kingler with Rain Dance, I'm, I can kinda see it working, yes. It's not a completely bad idea. And, um,. Since I was able to outspeed, and I don't, I know that Kingler doesn't have Swift Swim, I am freely to go to EQ and definitely bringing this Kingler down to an area where it isn't that safe anymore. He's going for Crab Hammer, and uh, yeah, that would have killed me no matter what, but with Rain Dance boost on that, wow, that really, really must destroy Sand Slash. So anyway, I'm just going to go to Sherry. I know, like I said there, that he has really nothing that can outspeed his thing, and knowing that was definitely bringing me some momentum so I was believing here, I can go for Volt Switch hoping that I get enough momentum to take whatever comes in with one shot he is actually going to bring the Kecleon and I was very glad by this because I have Semiseer Maxim which is actually physical oriented so I knew I can kind of lure him in there and go for a superpower there is no way he's gonna live that Semiseer is truly a powerful fiend of a Pokemon it looks really strange, but man, it hurts. It really hits hard. So he's gonna go back to his uh, corporate this time. And, um, yeah. I had to switch out. I really did. My opponent is actually pushed their limit here. He's losing a lot of Pokemon. And he's going for Awkward yet. And he's gonna get a crit here, which still doesn't take me down to my Gluttony, which was real unfortunate. I decided he had to go for Rock Slide. And the reason I did that was because I felt that he could bring in the Pheasant. That would be the um, obvious play. But he does the correct play here and decide to fire off his Kingler. And like I said, I think that's the correct play because then he can bring his Pheasant. Um, well, better, I guess we should say. But uh, what I was trying to say is uh, without any like big hassles, of course. So here it is. Here is the Pheasant. And we share the same sex, which is male. And... Um, Basically here, I just went for Rock Slide. I do survive this quick attack, and my um, Salak Barry is gonna kick in, but uh, it won't matter because I missed the Rock Slide. That is why we choose Rock Slide because we aren't supposed to miss. God damn it! But it wouldn't really matter. His still, I know the thing is locked, but the thing is, and I can't really stress this enough. Uh, he would, his corporate would still take me, me out there with an awkward jet. So anyway, I knew he was going to switch out, so I decided to go for a Will-O-Wisp, so he, he isn't able to hurt me that much. I do actually land his finger, which is completely awesome. And um, Corpus Burn means one thing, that uh, I don't really need to fear the knock potential knockoff. So I'm just going to go to Phantom Force and use this Power Herb to, of course, activate my Unburden. This set is made by Caddy Cool, that's why I named my Drifling Caddy because, you know, to honor him in some fashion. And this set, it is not the best, but at the same time, if you don't expect it, it can kind of work. And this time it definitely did. Definitely doing the finishing job here. So I just can go for acrobatics and do as much damage as possible. And his last Pokemon is a Colossal of Pheasant. And due to me being activated by Unburden, even though his Scarf, he won't be able to tell speed. And with Stealth Rocks and whatnot, there is no way he takes an acrobatics from... Uh, this Pokemon. So definitely GG uh, Supreme Total. It was definitely a fun battle here and I do and I did enjoy it a lot and it was very fun to see your sets. I got just a lot of momentum from the get-go and I think that never really pawned out in your favor and that is really why I win. I still think it was a very very fun battle so GG definitely. So yeah <laughs> I really hope you guys like this battle of course and I decided to bring the Kingler here for the get mug shot Definitely Rain Dance Kingler people, that is, I'll say, you know, it's, like I said, it's bulk enough to pull that off, so, yeah, I like the idea. Yeah, obviously, either that uh, Kingler wears um, agility or is scarfed in any fashion, so seeing something else with Kingler, kinda cool, kinda cool people. Um, so, major kudos to that, uh, Toad Lord. And, other than that, I mean... Yes, this battle definitely turned in my favor, and um, there were not. I played really safe at. I think in the middle of the match, once the Nido Pokemon was gone, there was really nothing potentially threatening me too much. 
besides the corp which would come in and take a kill or two. So I think I played really safe, not to lose momentum, and I think that is why I win here. Um, I got the momentum, I kept it, and um, never really did any risky plays, and <clears throat> sometimes that works. Um, it is not pretty though, it's never pretty. Uh, upon my opponent, think, I think my opponent did some major plays there and actually tried to work around it, and sadly didn't work in his favor this time. But hey, it turned out to be one hell of a battle anyway, and uh, I was very glad we got the chance to battle, so definitely, like I said, they're GG. So, anyway, guys, I know, like, if you like this battle, make sure, of course, leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, sup. <laughs> and uh, remember, people, the sky is the limits of a good guys, and take care, right? Bye.